Hello, I hope you're having a great day. So I'm sorry to the people that were watching me every day. I so appreciate you watching me every day. And I'm like, oh, I feel bad if that was like part of their day and they don't get a video. But I honestly haven't been doing a ton of stuff out in the field or with flowers. I've been doing a lot of just sitting at my computer, doing book work. And I also have another job this time of year that picks up. So I've been doing a lot of that. But today I did get a chance to go out and I just tried to forage some stuff on the farm. So I got some juniper, I cut some rose hips off of multiflora rose, which is an invasive, horrible thing here. But the rose hips are really pretty. They, they're just little pops of red. And then I thought I would try making a wreath with some of my dried flowers. So I just went through, I did test out putting the GoPro on my head and it's like, a little like helmet cam and I just walked and foraged and then I made the wreath and I did all of that with it on my head and I realized it doesn't do that good a job inside I don't know if it's because you don't have the horizon but it just seems really shaky and so I'm gonna try to edit the video as good as I can to not make you dizzy um, and this is only the second wreath I've ever made in my entire life. <laughs> so bear with me. This is not a tutorial. It is just a day in the life of a flower farmer. And this is something I am going to have to start learning how to work with my dried flowers and make pretty arrangements and do some stuff during the winter time so I can drop that other job and be a flower farmer full time. So this video is just my second attempt ever at making a wreath. I hope you enjoy it.
it's a little wild and crazy because the flamingo feather so lotia i use juniper i use rose hips and i use lavender so it actually smells really good standing right here but i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you have a great day